Hi guys, welcome to Trevor's Cocktail Hour, where I'll show you how to make a quick cocktail that'll really wet your whistle. Today we're gonna make it old fashioned, which is one of my favorites. As you can see, I have all the ingredients laid out before me. Now, you can use any kind of whiskey for an old fashioned. Today I've chosen a rye, a Sazerac rye. Apparently it's the original rye whiskey. I usually start with a cup of ice in a highball glass. Um, this is just one we happen to have clean. So first thing you're gonna do is uh, take your jigger. A jigger is worth of whiskey. I'm, I'm gonna do like a part and a half. Give it a little extra spike. Um, I just usually kind of eyeball this, like, just kind of do a... I usually find like that's about enough for me, personally. Usually you do like one or two dashes. Uh, I usually do like a few more, I, I like beers. And what this is mainly for is like, you want the oils from the actual peel. rub it around the rim of the glass. You're gonna take the remaining peel, put it in, and then for the final touch, you wanna use Luxardo um, cherries. These are like the, the best maraschino cherries you can get. They're made in Italy, so they're worth picking up. It's like 25 bucks for two jars, and it'll last you a while. Like I've had this jar for, I don't know, like probably over a year, and I think I still have quite a good number of cherries left, as you can see. old-fashioned. Hello you guys and happy Monday! I'm doing something so cool and I really wanted to share it with you guys. We all know that there's been a trend going around where people do the tortilla folding hack. I saw something incredibly fun on TikTok and it involved nori, spam, kimchi, and rice. So it pretty much is like a Korean spam masubi and so obviously. We have to do it. Rice is going and we have about three minutes left. We have some Spam ready and fried up, ready to go. And then all I have to do is just assemble. We're just gonna put a little bit of sesame oil on the rice bit of sesame seeds. I'm just gonna put just a dash of teriyaki sauce. And now we fold. And as you can see, we have a little bit of kind of like a handful. Okay. Let's try. It's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. 10 out of 10 would recommend. I want to try it with like spicy tuna and like sushi things now because that is just way too easy. Hello you guys and happy Friday. Happy Friday. <laughs> we are in Highland Park right now and we went to look at a brand new wedding venue that we potentially could book for our upcoming wedding. Now we are just in our car waiting for our food to be ready. We ordered food from Joy, which I mean, I feel like we've been dying to come back to since we went. When did we go? Like at the beginning of quarantine? I think so, yeah. It was one of our very first car picnics, I think. Ugh, I'm so excited to eat those dandan dan noodles and fun fact. We got these car eating trays from from Michael's and they're technically supposed to be like kids arts and craft trays but for now we are using them as car picnic trays <laughs> so as you can see it has a little container for a drink and some maybe utensils napkins and this whole other compartment here for like I don't know but it's available and all of this space As you can see from outside, the wind is absolutely out of control right now and 
we have a power outage. They shut down the power just to prevent any fires because we all know that the fastest way to spread any sort of brush fire is through crazy winds. And yeah, so right now we are trying to keep ourselves entertained without any sort of power. Trevor can't do any work because we don't have any internet. And yeah, we're just keeping ourselves amused. I'm doing a little bit of cleaning. We're gonna work out a little bit. And in the meantime, we got a package. And we got a package all the way from the UK from our favorite people in the entire world, Abby, Mark, Summer, and Kai. Let's see what they got us. This is meant to be their Christmas present for us, but it took about a month to get to us. Hi guys. <laughs> Trevor's here. <laughs> I know that it's gonna include some incredible tasty treats for us. You all. Oh. <laughs> They got Gizmo little. <laughs> monogram. A little bandana. monogram bandana. Gizmo, look. Monogram face masks. <laughs> yeah. We got our favorite treats in the entire world. Percy pigs. Uh, Holiday Percy pigs. Oh, nice. All, all the varieties. What are those? Is it like you have it with milk? I, I think so. It's called Angel Delight. I think it's like. Yeah, it's it's just, meant to be whipped, and so it's like yeah, creamy. Whipped. I'm lactose intolerant. I wonder if I can do this with almond milk. It has a strawberry one, too. Mmm. <gasps> and then we got some book, some chocolate chip cookies. These look, this, this tin's really cool. Oh, summer <laughs> and tita. <laughs> Isn't this about the most cute thing in the entire world. Thank you, Summer. <laughs> you don't even know how excited we are. And we're about to probably finish all these Percy pigs all in one day, so. And we got this workout bench, so we don't have to go to the gym. We can just stay here. <laughs> Trevor is acting like this is like the haunted mansion or something. Are you in the olden days? <laughs> Dinner is candlelight tonight. <laughs> you know, the stove and electricity are off, so we went to Costco <laughs> and got some of Costco's finest goodies, like pizza, hot dogs, and a chicken bake. Mm, delicious. is in the house. We made it to Joshua Tree. Yeah. And there's no snow. No. <laughs> it's okay though. I'm sorry. We're still gonna have a lot of fun. We are. She's scrambling up the rocks. <laughs> a prayed mama mountain goat. Prayed. Pride. Proud mama goat. <laughs> Proud mama mountain goat. There we go. We did it. positive this is my happy place because every time I he I'm here I feel like I'm rejuvenated you know I would agree stick throw it <laughs> <laughs> so we didn't quite get the snowy landscape that we were hoping for no but, but you know we have snow in the mountains Did it, J. 
Michelle. <laughs> You're gonna be the next president of the United States. <laughs> we did it, Steph. We did it, Amy Lee. We found snow in Joshua Tree. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this snow. <laughs> We knew it was here somewhere. I am like exhilarated. Like when we were when we were climbing up the actual hill and you could just see like patches of snow. I was like, okay, patches is a good sign. And as we were climbing higher and higher, it was just here. So we should we climb up stuff? We shall. Okay, we let's shall do climb it. up. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's so soft. It's so soft. <laughs> oh, I left my shirt! <laughs> oh, no. It is actually bananas being able to see Joshua Tree snowing. Just fully covered in snow. My mind is blown at the beauty of nature. It's pretty crazy because this is the one thing that Stefani and I truly wanted the most, and we got it. <laughs> And this is a key memory for me. Desert snow. And add that to my list of things I love. You guys, that was the most magical moment of my life. <laughs> Do you know the last snowfall that I had was when I was in New York? Really? Yeah. How many years ago was that? Oh my gosh, it must have been at least like, maybe like eight. Do you know how dirty the snowfall in New York is? <laughs> it's disgusting. Includes our <laughs> the mini adventure of Joshua Tree. Oh my gosh, this is perfect, Steph. Thank you. You're very welcome. Uh, Anytime. 